So my question is, uh, what do you think the world would have looked like if that meteorite would have missed? We would have, I told him, a brainy uh, velociraptors. Maybe. It's only mm. makes more chance. Dale Russell, who I quoted as having a favorite of, uh, of supernovas, he made a reconstruction of an intelligent dinosaur. And he said the velociraptor, or a descendant of that, have everything. He could walk right up, he has opposing fingers, so he can ma manipulate things. And his brain-to-body size was amazingly big. So maybe... What would chairs Steven have Spielberg was like, right, though? and it becomes intelligent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's all a spawn off of Dale Russell's. Uh, yeah, yeah. So. so you think that maybe uh, velociraptors would have started a sort of dinosaur civilization? Who knows? And there, we know now they had feathers, they were warm blooded, so they can. So they're, then they're sort of predisposed to take the leap if they get a chance, but they didn't get a chance. So. That's very cool. So Yenta has a question. <laughs> what are the odds? Do you think a next supernova will crash onto Earth? Uh, well, they, they set a 50 million year distance once every 100 million years. So whether it will happen or not, I mean, my daughter is an astronomer and she looks at things which are 13.3 billion years old. And, uh, and she's not concerned about supernovas, but they're fine. When I was doing this, there were two types of supernovas. Now they have about 20, I think, of different sizes, different whatever. And uh, so depending on what, I have an exploding black hole, that may be this next one. You were also talking about the fact that if the supernova collides on Earth, you need like a two centimeter uh, level of water to be protected? Well, to correct you a little bit, the supernova doesn't hit the Earth, but the radiation from a supernova yeah. may hit the Earth. And, and, and material, if you look at those beautiful uh, um, space telescope uh, photographs, and I have a screensaver which refreshes every day, and you get these beautiful remnants of supernovae going with a great speed in any direction. I have no idea if the astronomers found one which will collide with the Earth, but uh, it's certainly possible. And if one does, what do you think we as humankind should do? Dive in the water. <laughs> as fast as possible. Because we get a high dose of radiation, so we should seek protection for that. Do you think two centimeters will be enough for that? Uh, maybe. I hope you're right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it will create a disaster, so mankind is so specialized it will not survive in its present form.